as programmers and developers, we don't spend all the day writing scripts and codes non-stop as you might see in movies. Instead, our daily work might include searching for best practices in Stack Overflow. We also spend hours trying to figure out why our code is not working, searching for bugs and trying to find fix for them, and we have as well the task of optimizing the performance of our code. Another important task is to keep our code well styled, organized, and with comments. And not to forget the pain of creating documentations, which is very boring and annoying to do. But now we have new smart friend that gonna make our life way easier than before. At least I hope. Okay, so now let me show you some examples in order to understand how the AI gonna help you with programming and coding. All right, guys, so now we're gonna uncover the superpower of the model codex in ChatGPT. After the AI learns, billions of lines of codes in the public github. Let's start first with the basics. You can use ChatGPT to generate codes. For example, let's say that we want to write a function that generates random integers between 1 and 100. So let's see if ChatGPT can write this piece of code for us. Write python function for generating random numbers between 1 and 100. Let's go. I just love this answer from ChatGPT. Here we have a code snippet on how to generate random numbers in Python. And beneath it, we have always like an explanation line by line on how this code works. So here we have the function name generate random numbers and the explanation for that. And then it explained the function that is used from the library random. And this is exactly all what you want in order to understand this code. This is perfect. This is amazing, but as well scary. All right. So for the next one, ChatGPT can help you explaining the code. Let's say that you start working in a new team, in a new company or in a new project. And the first thing that you have always to do is to go to the GitHub in order to understand the code and sometimes this is really painful if the colleagues in your team don't add documentations don't add like comments or styles in their code so if you are in this situation you're gonna have really hard time understanding the code or understanding the project but now we have a new friend that has all the time for you explaining all the codes that you want so let's have an example so all you have to do is writing the following prompts explain the following code and we're going to add our codes. All right, so let's check the output. This is really gold. This is crazy. It explains in details everything line by line this code. So first, it figure out that this is a Python function where it converts the CSV files to JSON file and then it explain all the rows of the code. And this all happened in few seconds. So this is really amazing. If you are starting new projects and you want to understand the code, just use the ChatGPT to understand it. All right, so now we're going to go to the scary part of ChatGPT, where you can use it to analyze and scan your code to find bugs and errors. And not only that, you can ask ChatGPT to fix all the errors. This is just mind blowing. Let's have an example. Find the errors in the following code and suggest solutions to fix it. And now we're going to enter our code. So let's go. You know what? All right, all right. So let's talk about this again. Well, no comment. It just did the job. So let's check the answer over here. Not only it found the error in our code, but also it explained in details what was the error about. And as well, it generated the code with the fix. So here we have again my code. The problem in my code, I used the wrong format. So here we have a year, month, and day. And I used in the format only the year and the month. In just few seconds, ChatGPT analyzed my code and find the fix for it and explain it for me. This is just mind blowing. All right, so now let's talk about the next one. As you are programming and writing your code, you might encounter some errors. And not all tools and programming languages 
provide full explanations and informations about the error. So we spent a lot of time reading the user manuals or searching in Stack Overflow just in order to understand the error message of our program. But now we can use ChatGPT in order to help us understanding the error messages. So we're gonna say explain the following error message. And we're gonna post our error message over here. So this is really getting annoying. I'm joking. This is amazing. Look, it's explaining the error message in details. So here it's saying there is like a syntax error in our select statement. And instead of using from, we used form. It's like typo. And at the end, it just gave us summarizations about the error. I'm sure this is going to help a lot of developers. All right. So for the next use case, we can use ChatGPT to optimize the performance in our code. Sometimes we write everything correct. There is no errors or anything. But once you execute it, the codes, you will get bad performance. And here we can use the power of AI in ChatGPT to analyze our code and suggest optimizations. Let's have an example. Optimize the following code to boost the performance. So now I'm going to enter an SQL statement, which takes long time. Let's go. The answer is perfect, I love it. So let's check that. If you know about SQL, it's really bad practices to use the OR multiple times like this. It's just gonna waste the performance. So here ChatGPT suggested to use the N operator instead of using the OR, which is really the best practices in SQL. And not only that, it provides us as well with the code snippets. And the next suggestion it says, okay, to optimize the performance, you can use indexes on the customer ID, which is just true. And as well in our statements, we are using full outer join. And this is the worst type of join that gonna really bring the performance down. And as you can see over here, ChatGPT noticed that and suggested to use different type of join. So here it's saying, okay, you might use inner join instead. I have experience with SQL more than 10 years and I can say this answer is perfect. ChatGPT here acted as an expert in SQL and suggested really professional solutions. Okay, so now let's talk about the next use case that I really like. We can use ChatGPT to style our codes and add comments. Let's say that you are in project and your role is to do code reviews. There is nothing annoying more than someone sends you a code with really bad format and no comments at all. So here either you're gonna reject the code or you're gonna go and style it in order to understand it. So if you are a programmer, please pay attention to the style of your codes and add comments. And now, especially with the AI, you don't have any excuses. In few seconds, you can style the whole code and add comments to it. Let's have an example. So style my code following the PEP8 style guide and add comments. Not only that, we're going to add as well some prints and add some prints when it makes sense. So now we're going to add our code and let's go. This code is really bad formatted. So let's check the answer. This is really beautiful. So as you can see now, we have well-organized code with the style and it's really easier to read than the previous code. So if you check the code over here, it's really hard to read those stuff. So now we have everything like organized and not only that, we have as well the comments over here and the AI added as well some prints in our code where it makes sense. So this is perfect. And ChatGPT was really nice at the end and it went and explained the code for me. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go to the next use case where all programmers love this feature. You can use ChatGPT to generate documentations of your code. How cool is this? The most painful step in the writing process of scripts is now automated using ChatGPT. Let's have an example. So the prompt is really simple. Create documentation of the following codes. And we're gonna add our code. Let's go.
So as you can see, ChatGPT just created the documentation in a few seconds. And if I want to create such a documentation, it may take like between 10 to 15 minutes. If ChatGPT has only this feature to create documentations, that's really enough to be the best tool in this year. All right, the next use case of ChatGPT is that you can use it in order to convert your code from one programming language to another one. In software engineering, we have endless projects that have the same goal, to convert the code of a product from one programming language to another. Well, now we can use the help of AI to convert the codes and save a lot of money. Let's have an example. We want now to convert the same function from Python to JavaScript. Let's do that using the following prompt. Convert my Python codes to JavaScript. So now we're going to enter the script and let's go. All right, so now let's check the output. This is really gold. So now we have the same function that converts CSV files to JSON, but now in JavaScript. And we have an example code for that. As you can see, ChatGPT loves to explain everything for you. So not only generated the code, it generated documentations and explanations with details about the JavaScript code. So this is really magic and very good news. If you are in migration projects, you can go and suggest to use ChatGPT to speed up the process and save some money. But here one thing to notice is that if you are migrating from an old programming language that does not exist currently in the public GitHub. And this can be a problem because the AI didn't find in the GitHub any code to train on it. So the ChatGPT and the AI will only support us on data that it trained on. All right, another use case in ChatGPT is that we can ask it to create a unit test. Now, you know that testing is very essential part in the coding process, and sometimes it takes us like 15 to 20 minutes to write a unit test for our functions. Now, we can use ChatGPT to create it in a few seconds. So we're going to use the following prompt, generate a unit test for the following Python function. We're going to use the same function that converts CSV to JSON, and let's go. So this is really nice. In few seconds, we got a unit test for our function, and we're gonna use it in order to ensure that everything is fine as we are converting from CSV to JSON. All right, so for the next one, we can use ChatGPT to generate dummy data or test data. Pretty damn good, right? So let's have an example. So generate dummy data in SQL for table called customers. Each customer should have an ID first name, email, country, and a score. So let's see. So as you can see, very powerful. We have now some insert statements in SQL with few examples, and we can use it in order to test something or to practice the SQL. So now instead of showing us the script in SQL, I wanted to show the data itself. So let's write the following. Show the data as a table for five customers. Now, this is just mind-blowing, crazy, right? So who needs now tools to practice SQL? We can use just ChatGPT. So now we can see over here, we have like this data to practice SQL, and we can ask it now to do stuff like find the customer with the highest score. So now let's write this prompt, write SQL statements to find the customer with the highest score. And at the end, show the results as a table let's go
this is just amazing. If you want to learn alone SQL, you can use ChatGPT to have an examples and to practice with the queries. So here ChatGPT created like two statements to solve the problem and of course explained everything in details and we have the results. Michael is the highest score with H. And if you want to learn SQL without the help of ChatGPT and AI, you can check my free course in YouTube about SQL for beginners. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. All right guys, so we have again the question, is ChatGPT gonna replace our programmers and developers? This is how I think about it currently. I think it's gonna reshape how programmers works. I don't think that we are going to spend most of our time writing the code. Instead, we are going to be something like code designers or code engineers, where we have to define the blueprint, the concept or the solution, and the AI gonna take over and do the rest by generating the code. So I think the AI gonna assist us and speed up the process of writing the code, which can allow us to start and finish projects way faster than now. All right, guys, I'm really interested to hear your opinion about this topic, ChatGPT, and how you are using it in your daily basis. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.